Ginger. Oh, no. And I am looking... Oh, it dragged away. And I am looking to hopefully find a better win now. So I think about it, right, since I was already uh, specializing my Apex thumbnails and my Halo thumbnails with uh, different colors, I might as well start doing it for my other series now, right? Alright, back to it. Inventor runs are painful, but I will get through them one way or another. Because I want... Because I, it's great to have your perfect deck all together. But Inventor, of course, throws it on top of its own head. With you have to be sorting through your deck constantly. And then later on, of course, the Witch is going to be its own... Its own bundle of beans when it comes to for... Oh, it's face. Or having to create your deck. And you're stuck to the four slots, and you have to just keep mowing through all your dice and everything. It's just, uh, dude. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's not gonna be fun. All right, whatever. Enough. Frauds not going to have fun. All right, just easy win. Get through it, no big problem. I do think just get the piece shirt out of the way, so once again, big equipment is a big premium early. Sword is good. Spark is good as a gadget mulligan. And just wait with the big items for the meantime. Sneezy Pirate Squid. Sneezy could legitimately end the run so fast, but... I'm fighting him to get to the shop early. Main thing here is I am without a doubt just pressing the focus button, considering how he could just potentially deal, what, 16 damage to me? Thank god he didn't. That still is 6. Uh, no, it's, uh, 3 times 4, so 12 damage to me. But that's still annoying enough, all things considered here. But, at the very least, I got away from that fight pretty well. I will get rid of... My sword? I will take Keyblade. Now I can put my spark in here. And then Pirate or Squid? Pirate has higher damage potential. Squid just is more annoying. As much as I hate blindness just as a mechanic in general. So fight the Pirate first. 3 damage return the dice. 6 is wonderful. And then I can just guarantee a 2 turn kill. Alright. That's one, two. Don't even need to use my focus yet. So I can save that for four, three is my biggest hope. Unless Baby Squid annoys me enough. Go towards for Spark is great. And then I do think. So, upgraded Flamethrower was wonderful before, and the burst damage is there. I think I'll just keep it small this time, is my immediate thoughts. Without a doubt, I'm always going to be carrying it. But maybe just having it be a small slot instead of a big slot could be better. But then again, 12 damage versus 24 for your damage potential is still ridiculously good, of course. I'm going to take the 10 damage already, though, because burning Baby Squid's only two dice is pretty important, all things considered. Because that's already four more damage. And yeah, so what? He's out seven damage to me? I don't care. Baby Squid, you're dead. I didn't even have to deal with that blindness, thank goodness. Now, you're a wonderful NPC, you're very nice, but I hate blindness as a mechanic, so I hate your tra I hate Kraken, and fighting you isn't as fun either. Smile. Bump. Decent. Take these apples, and what is our shop again? If I did want to upgrade something, I could make things smaller. But I rather would want to just keep buying through equipment, considering how... Sometimes you can just swarm through chest. And, well, you know, not having enough equipment to fill out your inventory is always the inventor nightmare. So it's first fight. So just go ahead. Oh, I should have focused after. Oh, well, it's fine. Go ahead, just immediately whack the Dryad for as much damage as you possibly can. She's dead in its turn, basically, so you are a bit join. And all she's going to do is poison you for four? Amazing fight! Could have done more damage. I could have actually destroyed you with the staff earlier, but four damage. I hope it's not gonna break my four two, and it really shouldn't. 
Um. I'm very fire throated if I go that way. I think shock is still very premium. Way, way too good of a status effect to not carry around. Broadsword immediately replacing itself for the staff is great. I will take Boomerang just for the fact that it causes me to get Fury, and then I'll save my money for the next job after. Blow Torch. Shock you. And don't cash out on point there were just yet. That is wonderful that I shot Cap the Spirit, because you only get one Thorns. Damage is great. I can't believe that still does hurt me. That is actually annoying. Well, die, sir. Those thorns do nothing more. Leveling up. Perfect. I will take Mega Bump. And let's see what's in shop number two then. A crystal sword for 15 damage once per battle, and it's another fury. I will, without a doubt, take that. That is ridiculously good. I'll have to probably get rid of it then, but I have two fury generators. So just let me burst the handyman. And we'll be happy with life. There's a Mega Bump. I get my 6. I get my 15. And 6 damage more. If I can shot to the Spanner, potentially. Shotting the Hammer is pretty good, too. Because, at the very least, it doesn't need a Peace Shooter off more. And as long as my good equipment still runs through... Then, well, I, I, I say good determinant on three. That is really a nonsensical phrase. As long as I didn't screw too much more up with my play, I was totally fine. Magic dice, don't really care too much about you. But I'll just check my inventory and see how I'm feeling when I see the next fights. Wild Bird Wicker Man Bowie. I have my flamethrower, so I am immediately just going to destroy that boy. I don't- I think an extra dice against the Loud Bird is gonna be very important, so I'm hoping I don't roll the 1 and 4 to where I don't get T-Void then. Ah, uh, this is gonna be hilarious. Double my Nets action, burn all your dice. The Wicker Man's already dead, dude. <laughs> Fury is so ridiculously funny, dude. Hey, okay, great. T-Void is perfect. I get... Refrigerator. Refrigerator, Refrigerator, Freezerator. I'm getting an extra dice. And I have three attacks potentially. Reason a dice ain't gonna do much against a loud bird who is looking to silence me. I just need raw attacks all the time, quite frankly. Reason a dice, does it really help me that much? It still is an odd he's getting, and he can always dodge no matter what. But I think just having a premium on attacks is gonna be the biggest thing. Plus, having that extra dice is just going to be important once again. Guys, let's see here. Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to cash out on everything, unfortunately. But just getting immediately 18 damage on the table is more than a third of his health, which is great. He silenced me. That sucks. But he didn't get the dodge, crucially, though. Funny enough, uh... My dice rolls kind of suck, so it's actually pretty fine to just magic die straight up like this. 4 damage or 4 damage, that's hilarious. But hey, 6 damage, and my damage profile keeps moving up. He rolled doubles again. But the fact that my the silence is basically only costing me 1 dice, and I can decide which one basically goes away, is not the worst thing ever. In fact, this is pretty fine. Uh, 2 damage, dodge that. Yeah, whatever. You are basically dead next turn. Very, very happy. And he's rolling horribly too, because then I can save focus for the Bowie fight. Granted, I'm heading into that with suboptimal half HP, but pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, I will say. He dodges, so what? Die. Because I need to, uh, so I'm gonna level up after this. Shocking 3 equipment could be really good against him, actually, so... I think that is the tempo play. 
Because that means once he uses Fist or so, he really just runs out of room to do much. That could even freeze his dice. Potentially. Since I am going to level up, I will put Boomerang in instead of Electro Magnet. Because it's just really a DPS rush. Or actually, this is hilarious. Yeah, what am I doing? I still have Focus. to destroy his life. All together. If he gets Sitzes, I die. No, okay, hold on. If I do Sits damage to myself, I'm at 12 health. If he gets two Sitzes, the worst case scenario is two Rots. Just don't be stupid. Even because like, he's already burning, and I'd rather just not straight up die, please. To a, oh, he just rolled better than you, and then you suck. <laughs> you know? Alright, I have an odd. I can freeze a dice out of him. Sits damage away. No reason for me to really risk myself by hurting myself even more when he could potentially still once again OTK me. Bully is scary, but thank goodness for the shots doing alright with freezing the fist every time. Or shotting the fist every time. So pretty good. I think... Having a Fury could be really good for my upcoming fight. But I could save that for my boss as well. So legitimately do I get rid of my broadsword? Um Strap metal, because I'm not sure. I think copying the boomerang would be good though, because I want to have two use cases for Fury. And that's a duplication. That's a Kraken and a Cowboy. That could be dangerous. That's my one, two health upgrades, but that is also an Anvil behind there. I think big thing here... Is Direwolf first without a doubt, because I get health, a chest, and an upgrade out of it, which is the biggest thing here. Shield is big, of course. I mean, it's only 2 damage more I'd be getting otherwise. So go ahead just hit him for that much, because I want to burn his dice too. And I need to just keep moving my damage potential, because I'm already casting out with my shield for my boomerangs. Just go ahead and keep moving that line up. Because the poison's going to hurt, but at least I'm getting the chip damage a little bit with my shielding. I just gotta keep working off of it. Me getting my focus actually is wonderful thinking about it. You can freeze something out of him. Focus up. Hit. Hit. Okay, yeah, I am taking a lot of damage from those boomerangs. I am not going to lie. That's okay. Get my fury for the Kraken fight. That's equipment has one more use this turn. I don't really see the use in that. I think what I do is put my counterfeit in to duplicate. Because I need to just burst my next enemies. Well, an upgraded flamethrower would do the trick, wouldn't it? I'd have to get rid of my broadsword in that case then, basically. But I hate the Kraten, so just destroy him with my fury while I have it. Double Nets action. This is still on the higher end of damage, because that's 30 damage. And a little bit of chip. He is dead soon enough, because that's all of his dice burning. And he's, yeah, he's spending for all of it, Chief. Now, I am cursed. But I do have focus for my cowboy fight, which is the big thing. Great. So, even if I rolled low, which I did, Fury guarantees you're dead. Oh, what a good fight. What a really good fight. I think I got a degree of counterfeit, because actually I don't have that much other damage potential. Boomerang is there, but I'm scared about using it because that could easily just kill me. I need to save it for the fight after. Alright, cowboy me. So 
I will freeze the dice first and foremost. Duplicate everything, because I need to make sure I had an odd for my freeze. And then just make this man's life miserable. All of his dice are burning? Now granted, he only just needed the midnight charm to really go off. Oh my goodness gracious, this is gonna hurt. The worst thing is I don't even have my focus yet. That is so, 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 so bad. Because skeleton could really be a problem in that case, and considering I'm only get focus afterwards. Get rid of the ray gun? It is damage at the very least. I have to get boomerang in here without a doubt. I think I put Hoodshot in, because if I don't roll well, stealing the boss equipment could be really big for me. I'm missing three. I'm missing six damage if I do this. I'm only ever getting four dice, so it's not like I can really use Hoodshot and Flamethrower. Move that damage potential up, make him burn for it early. 7 damage. He can't kill me yet, but this is still scary. Oh, that doesn't fill me with joy. This does not fill me with joy. Uh, he can only deal 12 damage to me. Do not run the risk of the curse killing me. HERO 12! Thank goodness I didn't take the chance of Boomerang, because I'm at one health, dude. Woo! Oh, we're safe, we're safe. Free Fury from Boomerang is the most important thing. I have Hoodshot to really just keep things going, which is funny. I mean, I can just buy everything here, quite frankly. And then I just see who my boss is. Drake. I don't think I was using a slot, so the wooden state's fine. Yeah, this is totally fine. Radsoid is consistent up to 8 damage. You are 4 damage, but you are stealing, but you are a countdown. I need to be putting stuff in. Flamethrower could easily just burst him down, and anytime I don't have a good roll, I'm just putting it into, into wooden state at that point, yeah? I think this is a fine loadout, quite frankly. Let's hit him. Let's deal with him. I think I can finally beat Inventor 4 after all of this. Okay. That's already an amazing roll. But do I wait for a hutshot potential? Because this is... Oh no, I wouldn't even really be able to use such shot with this. I wouldn't have the dice for it. Yeah, just go ahead and cash out Cruz. Even if he gets his that just all feeds into wooden stake immediately. And just keep chipping him, keep chipping him. Because yeah, he's just on, on, on fire. And so what if he poisons and blinds you? So what if he blinds you? You have focus. So then you just say, yeah, screw it. This is all going in. Quite literally. Focus. Fury. Hit him for 16, and just pour it all into the stake. So what if he life steals off of you? So what if he blinds you? Your inventor, focus at least star carries you against Drake. Thank goodness gracious. Thank goodness for that end. Fury, whack him twice. And then you're just dead next turn, basically, because there's no way. Even if I roll all ones, basically, you're just going to drain me for the health, and then you're just dead. Basically. Now it has to take away the final uh, 5 HP, so I will have to just whack you. Like so. Then now you're dead. In fact, I'll stake you twice. Tish. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, Inventor 4 is down. Thank goodness. Holy crap. Did that take a while? I mean, 3 runs ain't bad, but that was a little bit of pain. All things considered.
played any four elimination rounds, and I got vacuum.